Hello everyone, welcome to the kitchen. Today I've got a classic Australian bake for you. I did a poll on Instagram and everyone wanted me to make lamington, so I did. I made some lovely vanilla ones. Check out my Instagram reel for that. This time I'm doing brown sugar salted caramel lamingtons. They are epic. I've got two types of sugar in my bowl and some soft butter and we're gonna cream it till it's lovely and fluffy. Lovely and pale and fluffy. Now we need to add our eggs. One. I'm going to add them in gradually. Egg number two. You just want to make sure you're incorporating it every time. Egg number three. Lovely slosh of vanilla. Another mix. Right, now don't worry if it looks a bit curdled at this stage, it's going to come back together when we put the flour in. So here I have um, self-raising flour, I've got some extra baking powder and I've got some salt there. So this recipe is slightly different to a classic sponge. There's less flour in this, much more sugar and egg and it makes for a really soft, fluffy sponge. I put about half of that into the mixture there. Just incorporate it till the powder's disappeared rest of the flour and then the rest of the milk goes in so I've got a large rectangular tin this is going to make about 12 to 15 lamingtons so this is going to make a lovely thin layer of sponge so just spread it out into the corners of the tin so a lovely thin layer of sponge um, I'm just going to bake that to which just baked so we'll come back with our sponge layer and get assembling our salty la cami lammies, as we've called them. So I have my cooled sponge, um, and what I need to do is just cut it in half. So I'm measuring it here um, to make sure that I get it nice and straight. So let's just go. Got some gorgeous salted caramel spread here. You want it fairly thin. There's not a huge amount of filling in the lamington. Sometimes it's just literally a, a thin layer of jam. This buttercream looks a bit darker than usual because I've actually made it with unrefined icing sugar, which has a natural caramel colour and taste. So I just spread that very thinly over there. Sandwich them together. Lamingtons have nice sharp edges. So trim the edges if you've got a bit of a rounded side before you cut it into portions. Cut it into small squares. So there you have your little squares of cake. You just set these to one side on a tray or a piece of parchment paper, whatever you want. I'm going to now put them in the fridge again because when we dip them we want them to be nice and firm so that they hold their shape. Chilled lamingtons. This is the difference here. This is coconut, but we've toasted it lightly in a frying pan. So regular lamingtons are just done in plain coconut. We've toasted ours to get that more caramelly flavour. Got some unrefined icing sugar and some caramel in here. I'm not going to add boiling water. So you need to make the quite have quite a runny icing. Now it's the fun bit. Let's get dunking. So dunk your sponge in. Let the excess drip away. press into coconut. There we go. The tricky thing about lamingtons is you do have to wash your hands in between every time. There. I'm going to crack on with these. I hope you enjoyed watching. Everything you need to make them is just down there. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you really soon for more videos. Bye-bye for now.